let a and b be two real numbers let n be a natural number greater than one if b to the power n is equal to a then b is called the nth root of a square root of 25 is equal to 5 cube root of 8 over 125 is equal to the cube root of a divided by the cube root of 125 the cube root of 8 is 2 and the cube root of 125 is 5 2 fifths fourth root of 81 81 is 9 times 9 which is 3 times 3 times 3 4 times is equal to fourth root of 3 to the fourth which is 3 fourth root of negative 81 is not a real number because the index is even and the radicand is a negative number a similar case would be for example square root of negative 81 we said that if the index is even the radicand must be non-negative so this is not a real number fifth root of square root of 32 will be the fifth root of two to the fifth because two to the fifth is 32 and the fifth root of two to the fifth is two the fifth root of negative 32 is the fifth root of negative two to the fifth and negative two times negative two times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 2 to the fifth will be equal to negative 2. Simplify fifth root of 64. Fifth root of 64 is fifth root of 32 times fifth root of 2 64 is 2 times 32 fifth root of 32 is 2 so our answer is 2 fifth root of 2 fourth root of 243 is really the fourth root of 81 times the fourth root of 3. 3 times 81 is 243. Fourth root of 81 is 3. So our answer is 3 fourth root of 3. Fifth root of negative 1 over 128 is equal to negative 1 fifth root of 1 is 1 divided by fifth root of 32 times fifth root of 4 4 times 32 is 128 the answer is 1 over 2 fifth root of 32 is 2 times fifth root of 4 fourth root of x to, to the 31st 30, 31 divided by 4 is will give you 7 7 times 4 28 the remainder is 3 so it's equal to fourth root of x to the 28 times fourth root of x to the third 28 plus 331 fourth root of x to the 28 is x to the seventh the quotient 
times fourth root of x to the third, the remainder. Six root of x to the seventeenth will be six root of x to the twelve, which is a perfect six, times six root of x to the fifth. Twelve divided by six is two. Therefore, our answer is x squared times six root of x to the fifth. We create a house for the perfect 7 and a house for the irrational. 22 divided by 7. 21 is the perfect 7 and 1. 28 is a perfect 7 because it's divisible by 7. And z to the 6 is irrational. 7 root of x to the 21 is x to the third. 7 root of y to the 28 is y to the 28 divided by 7, y to the fourth. Multiply by 7 root of x, z to the sixth.